Let's look at the make directory command. It is mkdir and directory name. You could call this whatever you like, folder, one, and so on. If we type ls to do a listing to see what's in here, we have nothing. Likewise, if we look at it in the graphical interface, in this folder Unix 101, we see there's nothing here. This is the same Unix 101 folder. Let's go ahead and create a directory or folder by using the command menu or Apple Shift N. I could call it folder 1. And we could create another one with Apple Shift N or File, New Directory. We'll call it folder 2. And then if we come up to the command line and say ls or list, we'll see we have folder 1 or folder 2. If we give the ls command the minus uppercase F option, we'll see the slash at the end of the listing telling us that this is indeed a folder or directory. Let's go ahead and remove these directories and keep an eye on the graphical interface down here. We want to delete these. We could right click on these and say move to trash. But we're going to go to the Unix command prompt and say remove folder 2. And it says rm folder 2 is a directory. So let's modify the rm command. We could say rm minus rf, which means force the removal of the next item listed, like folder 2, and recursively remove any contents inside here. This is a very dangerous command, and it's better not to use it. Let's do instead rmdir, or remove directory, folder 2. And we see that there was no error this time. Let's use the dangerous command to remove folder 1. And if we do a dir, or ls in this case, we see there's nothing. Notice dir gave us a command not found because it's not really a native Unix command. We could make dir the same as ls using the alias command. We'll talk about that later. But for right now, just notice that when we do a listing, it returned nothing, as opposed to up here when we did a listing, it returned the two folders. Now in the graphical interface below here, as soon as I click on it, it refreshed and showed that there's nothing. And that's it for the make directory or mkdir command. If you'd like more information, do a man to see the manual page on mkdir with the description, the usage, and options.